I'll start filming. Have you been working out? <laughs> shirt's, shirt's been a little tight. It is shooting a little tight. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. My name is Dr. Cameron Garber, and I am here at a beautiful trail. Um, we got Mark and Melody here in the background, and my dog, Coda. Hi, Coda. Go, girl. Um, today, we want to talk to you more about knees. So for Wednesday Wisdom, this month, we're talking about knees. And let's talk about knees and running. One of the biggest misconceptions is that running will cause knee arthritis. That running is somehow bad for your knees or that it'll beat up your knees. And now there are cases in which that can be true. If you're doing higher mileage, so, you know, 50 to 70 miles a week consistently for years, that can sometimes, if you're putting in too many hard miles, that can lead to premature breakdown or, or a higher risk of injury. Um, but honestly, running has been shown to be protective to the knees, to actually decrease osteoarthritis formation in some people. Um, so at least the osteophyte formation, so uh, all of the like bone spurring and things like that, it can reduce or um, diminish the progress of bone spurring. And, and so it actually has, there's been no link to osteoarthritis and running for kind of the recreational or casual runner. It really is quite healthy for your knees. Arthritis forms actually more when we don't move than when we do move. So get out there, run, run gently um, for most of your miles. So we that's why we're believers in this 80-20 running is so that you can run gently enough most of your miles to keep your knees healthy, safe, and protected. So run casually. And there's Mark. Hey, Mark. Mark's just working out his <laughs> knees. Yes. Um, another key feature to keeping your knees strong it, or keeping your knees healthy is keeping them strong. So doing some uphill climbing like we did today, like Mark just did right up the cliff um, and, and doing some weight training and things like that, keeping your hips, knees and calves strong so that you can uh, make sure that the forces you're putting on your knees don't add extra damage or pressure to them really is an important part. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, it's like we always talk about, it. it's just increasing that capacity, right? right? So we can run harder, longer, faster, and our body can absorb all of that. Our bodies are meant to move. They're meant to be active. And like we talked about, oh my goodness, I cut myself open, great. Uh, <laughs> oh, you did. No special effects. <laughs> <laughs> um, special in some ways. Special in <laughs> um, But you know, our joints want movement, right? That movement, uh, I, I couldn't hear, so I don't know if you already talked about right. that, but that, that movement nourishes the joints. We we need that. Our bodies are meant to move. Cameron talks about it all the time. We talk about it all the time here at Body Smart. Um, that idea of a body in motion tends to stay in motion. And so keep active, keep moving. Um, and as we do so, that keeps our bodies fit and healthy for a lifetime. Um, and like we said, running actually reduces the risk of, of, of OA. Right. So, so keep that up. <laughs> right, I agree. Coda, come. So here's a prime example. Coda is an old dog. So she's 11, almost 12, and she's actually injured both of her back knees in different uh, accidents. Chasing deer was one of them. Um, she's a jumper. She loves to jump fences and jump everything. And so she's injured both of her knees and we just rehabbed them. Never did surgery or anything like that. And she'll st still do up to 12 miles with me and she does great. Has no problems. She's a happy, healthy, running around dog. For every mile I run, she probably goes three when we're on the trail, and she's awesome. Um, and the way that she's kept her knees healthy, even through some injuries, is just by keeping moving, keeping running, um, and and it, it kept them healthy. And same thing, like we just have to keep moving, and we may modify that movement to be more gentle and things like that when our knees are feeling flared up. But motion really is lotion, like it keeps your ability to move the more you do move. And if you keep it strong, keep that load tolerance high, um, you can you can run forever, run for a lifetime. Oh, good girl, <laughs> she, she's a camera hog, she loves to be on film. Anyway, that's our Wednesday wisdom tip. Hope you enjoyed it. And thanks Coda for being the star of the show. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, all those good things. Share this with a friend that you know is hurting in their knees. And uh, if you need some help with that, definitely reach out and we can give you some tips on how to uh, 
modify your training to help your knees feel good and get back at it. Thanks so much.